Kia ora te whare. A nau mai hoki mai ki te poho o tahu pōtiki. Nau mai hara mai anō, kei raro i te marumaru o te runako o Awarua. A koto mia tua tahi, uh, our first order of business, uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, Honourable Megan Woods is going to uh, present a, a brief address on behalf of the government, uh, and then we'll move into our uh, panel discussion. So without any further ado. Ta tipine, tina kwea. Tirunanga o Awarua, tina koutou. Nai tahu whanui, tina koutou katoa. Tina koutou te waiponamu. Ko Megan Woods tuku ingoa. Ko hau te minita mō na fa, whare. Ko hau te minita mō na puna me na taonga ki raro i te whenua. Noi reira, tina koutou i te rā nui o Waitangi. Tina koutou nā kaitiaki. Tina tato katoa. It is, it is my very great pleasure to stand here today as a representative of the Crown, but also as a very proud South Islander to be here with Naitahu celebrating our nation's birthday, Waitangi Day. And it's an even greater pleasure to be with my colleagues, the Honourable Damien O'Connor, uh, local MPs, uh, Reno Tirakartney, uh, Penny Simmons um, and Joseph Mooney, and also our parliamentary colleague Eugenie Sage, um, who is, and, and sorry, and Liz Craig, how could I have missed Liz Craig, of the local MPs that are here. It is wonderful for us to be here to celebrate our nation's birthday, which is about our partnership as a nation. Many of you will have heard Jacinda in recent days talking again about the bridge the bridge that we must create as a nation, a place where we come to meet, not where we have expectation that one party or the other crosses fully to the other side, but one where we can meet and one where we can share our strengths. It is this bridge that is critical. It is where the, it is where the change that we need to make as a nation will come from and when our strengths are. So I stand here today not only as um, a proud South Islander, but very much this Waitangi Day as a very proud New Zealand historian. I'm proud of the fact that we are strengthening that bridge through the teaching of history in our high schools. This is absolutely critical to our understandings of ourselves as a nation. And at this point, I would very much like to acknowledge people that taught me New Zealand history. Ta Tipine and Tamaire Tau, who were two people that taught me history at the University of Canterbury in the history department. But they didn't only teach me New Zealand history, they taught me Naitahu history, they taught me South Island history. And that is the way in which we need to approach the teaching of history in our schools at a very local level so that people understand the place where they are and what has gone before. It is critical we do this if we are going to understand the exciting futures that we can have there. Because it is from these positions of knowing about our past that we can make the decisions for the future. So if my understandings of tikanga or treaty partnerships or anything are off, you have Ta Tipine and Tamaire Tau to blame for that. They were the people that taught me. But it is from this bridge where we can address the greatest challenges of our time, whether they be at a global level, how we, as we address climate change, whether it be at a national level, how we address issues such as child poverty, or it can be at the very local level, how it is that we care for our environment and that we make sure that we are respecting the knowledge of the kaitiaki of the whenua of the area in which we stand. So it is on that basis that I am very pleased to be here today with you as we celebrate and continue to build this bridge. Thank you very much. Yeah.